what if, right? Those two infamous words, what if, dot, dot, dot. The magic of what if. Have you ever played that before? Because, well, actually, I'm pretty sure you did. Because a lot of us tend to go throughout life, what if, what if, what if, what if, in the fashion of regrets. But have you ever tried what if to help form and shape your future? And the reason why I say this is because when you state those two words together, when you're looking to create some kind of positive change or manifest something in your life, those are two words, not the most powerful, but there, there are two powerful words, powerful enough <laughs> words that can help you to visualize, dream, and create what it is that you desire to bring into your life. So what if, right? What if I had the complete freedom that I wanted? What if I had that car? What if, what if? And the thing of it is, is that we say these what ifs, but we don't really take the time to answer well, the what if. So what if you had what it is that you so called desires and so really want, right? How would you feel? And that's the reason why those two words are powerful enough because it leads you to the most powerful um, part of this process is establishing the emotions behind that what if. Now, the key thing is, is that whatever you put behind that what if, obviously you wanna make sure that it is creating a positive environment, a positive feeling within your body. You don't have any fear. You don't have any anxiety, right? That's the whole point. It doesn't cause any stress. But if you do find yourself feeling some of those emotions when you answer the what if behind what you want, then you may want to take a step back, reevaluate, and see why you're having those emotions. So answering the question of what if, it leads you down a path of discovery, self-discovery. It really brings about what it is that you feel and what it is that you fear. And when you are able to answer those two questions, you will be more successful than people that want to ignore and not acknowledge that. What if? So what do you want to do with your what if? Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining me here on YouTube School of Magic. You're not going to want to miss any of the latest content. So just to be sure that you don't, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also make sure that you have the notification bell button turned on so that you don't miss any of the latest content dealing with mind, body, spirit, African traditional religion, metaphysical stuff, all of that good stuff. So be sure to stay tuned.